Hi, I'm Adam Davis from the USDA Agricultural Research Service Invasive Weed Management Unit, and uh, I'm here to talk to you today about garlic mustard. Garlic mustard is an invasive plant, uh, came from Eurasia, and it's a biennial plant, meaning that it has two years that it needs to take, go through its entire life cycle. So this is an adult that I've got in my left hand here, and then this is a seedling stage right here in my right hand. And so the first year, it uh, emerges, goes through the seedling to then what's called a rosette, and then the second year, the rosette bolts and forms this large plant and produces uh, seeds, up to about a couple of thousand seeds per plant. And the reason that we care about this plant is that it forms really dense mats uh, on the forest floor and uh, excludes native species. And so we're trying to deal with garlic mustard in a few different ways. Well, sometimes people pull the adults, like I've just done here. When you pull it, you actually want to try to get the root out, unlike the way I just did. Otherwise, it can sometimes re-sprout from that root area. Um, some people will spray it early in the spring before anything else has come up. Garlic mustard usually emerges uh, in the north central region uh, around the second week of February, and you can spray it then. But there are other ways of dealing with it. Because it covers such large areas of land, uh, we're looking into uh, biological control with several other groups, uh, researchers from Cornell, Michigan State, University of Minnesota, and a scientist at Kabi in Switzerland. Um, so biological control is when you reunite a plant pest uh, with its uh, natural enemy from its native range. And so right now, uh, these biological control agents are in quarantine. They haven't been approved for use that yet because they're undergoing host uh, specificity testing where the researchers who are doing this in Kabi uh, are trying to figure out whether the insects eat just garlic mustard or anything else, and we need to be careful that the insects that are released don't eat non-target plant species. But some other work that we're doing on garlic mustard suggests that one of the things that we can do about restoring invaded areas is learn how old they are. Uh, older sites appear to be easier to restore than younger sites. So uh, garlic mustard uses chemical warfare against the native plants to elbow them out of the way, and in new sites it needs that chemical kick in order to get rid of the native plants. But in older sites, because it's all garlic mustard, that chemical protection is just a drag on its uh, resources, and so it begins to lose that chemical. And we're finding, uh, my postdoc Rick Lankow and I, that if you uh, take native tree species and restore an a site that has been invaded for a long time, you have a much better chance of those trees taking than if you try to uh, restore a newly invaded site. 